was once common for people to believe in sprites, spirits, or ghosts that enjoy wreaking havoc and causing trouble. If the sprites heard you ask for something, they were reputed to try to make the opposite happen. Telling someone to break a leg was basically just medieval reverse psychology. It takes like two days to dry out. Hmm. I know. I dropped my phone in the toilet like twice. Okay, I anyways, so I didn't have any way to tell Caitlin, and I didn't want her to think I just blew her off, so. So what? When my mom went to sleep, I snuck into her room, took her phone, and downloaded Snapchat on it. That's crazy. No, what's crazy is that she found it on her phone the next day and thought it was a virus. What? She took it to the Apple store to get it removed. Adults are so clueless. Then, the Apple Store guy told her that it wasn't a virus and then how to use it. Oh, don't tell me. And now my mom Snapchats me. That's sad. Some technologies are just not meant for old people. They should stick to Facebook. Tell me about it. How am I going to memorize all my lines? Uh, hey, you know, that actually reminds me of something really funny. And here we go. So last year, when I was in Goldilocks, whenever I would say a line, people stared at me like I was crazy. I'm sure you're used to that. Well, later I realized that I was actually reading lines from The Big Bad Wolf, not Goldilocks. Really? Didn't anyone notice? Mm, I don't think so. They were probably just as confused as you were. Well, I told Mr. John that with the audience should have paid more because it was like two shows in one. Hmm. At least you weren't embarrassed. Uh, yeah, I was because I accidentally forgot one of my lines. Oh. Wait, what, you forgot a line from the wrong play? Yeah, that's why you always want to cite your lines because you never want to end up in the wrong play. So. How many scenes do you and I have together? Four. <sighs> I'll just be prepared for anything. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's so nice to be outside. We've been rehearsing forever. Yeah. I'm really glad you're playing the witch. Why? Because three years ago, we were in Jack and Jill together. You were in Jack and Jill? Yeah, I was just a mouse. It was my first show, and I really wanted to be like you. You did? I really liked your singing. Thanks. And I thought your acting was neat, too. I just liked it. You did? You were my idol back then. Wow. You changed my life. You made me want to work harder and be better. Cause like, back then, I didn't have a lot of friends. And now, I have all these friends here. And that's why I'm so glad to be on stage with you. Because, you're the reason I'm doing this. Talk to like two in the morning. So that's why you were late to rehearsal? Would you just listen? I am listening, I just don't see what the problem is. Because I can't have a boyfriend. He wants to be your boyfriend? Well, no, not yet, but he will. He will? I mean, I can't help it. Every time I'm around him, I get all flirty and charming. He doesn't stand a chance. I know, so why can't you have a boyfriend? Well, you remember that Talent Scout from New York, right? Yeah, you went to that workshop he had. Right. With the really bad food. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what does he have to do with anything? Well, 
because he always says that if you want to take acting seriously, you can't have a boyfriend. He also made you eat salad 10 times a day. Well, that's exactly it. After eating healthy for like a week, I started to feel better and I started to perform better too. So... So if he's right about the salad and the tofu, he's probably right about the boyfriend thing too. So don't date me. Problem solved. Natty! What? I can't just not date him. We're perfect for each other. Oh, the trials and tribulations of being a teenage actress. You are absolutely no help. Look how big this stage is. I know, right? Did you see the lights? You mean the way they just change colors? It's so cool. I know, right? You should have seen the first theater. There was a first theater? Oh yeah, it was bad. Like, real bad. Bad how? Well, there weren't any bathrooms backstage, so you had to wait till the audience sat down so that you could sneak around and use the one in the lobby. Oof. Yeah, and sometimes when you would sit in the audience, the seat would just fall apart right under you. And basically everything had tetanus, so if you scratched yourself on anything, you'd have to go straight to the hospital. In fact, we called it the Black Mold Theater. Because... There was black mold everywhere. Then why would anyone want to do a play there? I don't know. There's just something like home about it. Like when you walked in, you just knew that you belonged. Yeah, I felt the same way about our last theater. Yeah, that was never really home for me though. Well, what about this place? I don't know. It's kind of growing on me though. Yeah, me too.